Hello 110 students for the spring of 2018. There's already an intro video in there that I made in the fall and it basically the course is the same. I'm not going to change anything just so people don't get all nervous and jerky. I'm going to quickly go over this particular syllabus for this spring. Here you see my office hours. I'm basically here after the regular classroom class on Tuesday, Thursday. That's the best time to get a hold of me. There's my email addresses. I'm also here Monday, Wednesday in the midday. I come back in on Tuesday, Thursday in the afternoon. This is basically a U.S. government course. We go over many of the different practices about we detail the Constitution heavily and how it's changed, how it's been interpreted, and how this is then has changed the American government over time. We basically have five exams. The fifth exam will have to be taken in class. That will be announced. You'll have to get a Scantron form from the bookstore. If you don't know what a Scantron form is, it looks like this. They're 25 cents. You use a number two pencil and you mark your answers on it. That way you don't write on the exams themselves. There are your grades. Basically, the five exams are your main basis of your final grade. I take the forum posts into consideration for points. If you need extra credit points, if you do those week-to-week -week forum posts where you're defining terms and key concepts, it greatly is to your advantage to take advantage of that. It's helped many students in the last few semesters since I started teaching online. I highly recommend that you do them. These are the outcomes. We basically do number one, number two, some three, four, and the written communication are your forum posts. Student outcomes, hopefully you'll be able to do these particular dozen items. I try to go over these topics during the course of the semester. And here is the week-to-week -week layout of the course. Again, this is on the site also. It's the same thing. The exams are on the weekends. On Saturday and Sunday, you have 48 hours to take it. And I'll allow you to try it twice. February 29th, or February 3rd and 4th, excuse me, is the first exam. Then the following weekend, you have an exam just on Chapter 4. Then there's the big exam on Chapters 5, 6, 7, and 8. That is the long exam. It's 65 questions. And that will be right before spring break. And the fourth exam deals with chapters 9, 11 political parties, and 12 interest groups. And that exam is April 14th and 15th. And then the last exam, the one you have to take in class, is on the, only on the last two chapters on public policy and foreign policy. The exam is not cumulative. It'll be sometime during exam week May 7th through 12th. That's about it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Have a good semester.